two comedians were performing, and uh, another bus boy went up and grabbed a mic from them and told the people that the room was on fire, not to panic and to leave, and uh, they laughed at him. They thought it was part of the act. smell the smoke and I knew something was wrong when we got home we received a call and someone asked me if I knew there was a fire up at Beverly Hills and I said no but that I would put on my uniform and and go try to help with uh, transportation and communications and logistics. Mm -hmm. As soon as I opened up the reserve center, mm -hmm. um, about 12 soldiers came in the uniform and they wanted to know how to help. And by that time I had contacted the Fort Thomas police and they needed trucks to haul the dead bodies from the Beverly Hills um, Supper Club site in Southgate to the Campbell County um, morgue, temporary morgue, which was the armory building on the site of the uh, Fort Thomas Park in uh, Tire Park. And uh, I, I had enough soldiers where I could send uh, three uh, deuce and a half trucks, two and a half ton trucks up there and uh, and they they provided transportation and started hauling uh, uh, the, the dead bodies back to the temporary morgue. They, the uh, the operation to pull the survivors in and the deceased out of the Beverly Hills probably took three or four hours and uh, the fire started before probably about four o'clock in the afternoon and I would say by 11 or 12 o'clock at night everything was over with mm -hmm. and the fire was out. Most of the uh, deceased there were about 176 people that died died of smoke inhalation yeah and um, soon after I opened up the reserve center uh, one of our soldiers um, said he had worked for Kroger and he would bring over a reefer um, 16 wheeler 40 foot trailer which is refrigerated mm -hmm. and uh, he brought a refrigerated trailer over from Kroger's Inn. We stored, started storing the dead bodies in there after they were identified so they could be picked up by the funeral homes. And that was 
that was uh, that operation extended until the next day until the coroner was able to release all the bodies. Mm -hmm. The Campbell County coroner at that time was Dr. Stein. Jake, I walked into the temporary morgue and they had all the dead people spread out on the floor, lined up for the uh, coroner to identify them and, and sign their, their uh, death certificates. And they all died of smoke inhalation and I vividly remember one um, middle-aged lady dressed in her uh, uh, party dress and Jake it just appeared that she was asleep it didn't appear that she was dead at all she had a little grayish pale to her skin but that's about it and that's how most most of the deceased looked did they were just like they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. What do you think was the actual cause of the fire? Because no one really has ever figured it out. Well, I think it was defective wiring. Yeah. And um, the building, the building code inspectors never, never could figure out exactly how the wiring was defective, but. Um, I think that's what happened is the wiring was defective that sparked the fire and the uh, fire cut caught m materials on fire that caused uh, deadly gas yeah and deadly smoke so that was that was the I think in my opinion that was the cause of the fire yeah